We return with Hillary Kennedy of the Four Minute Buzz. Uh, welcome. Thanks for having me back. Great to great to have you. Um, you've been kind of following the Ghislaine Maxwell situation, right? I have. So this is where two things I'm passionate about intersect. One being UFC, the other being predators being brought to justice. So okay, Israel Adesanya is arguably right now like the hottest thing in the UFC. He's a great striker, awesome guy. So mm. he fought at UFC 276 a couple of weeks ago. First of all, can we just acknowledge that he recreated the walkout from WWF, WWE, whatever you want to call it from back then, yeah. The Undertaker. Yeah, they all acknowledged it then too, right? Because uh, yes. uh, it was. Awesome. Uh, I think we have a clip of it, but he walked out and like, recreated. That was awesome. Oh, good. Yeah, here it is. Which was so cool. Uh, <laughs> but what got even more attention when him doing this is a couple of days before that, you know, he got <laughs> Look at this guy, The Undertaker! You know, at the press oh, like they always do, and he made some comments that really caught the attention of alternative media. Mainstream <laughs> media has not acknowledged it. Yeah. But he made some comments about Glenn Maxwell, which people weren't which expecting. Which is weird, kind of yeah. came out of left field, yeah. But these guys do that. The, the yeah, guys in do. the UFC seem to, you know, express themselves politically, and usually I agree with what they're saying. I, I think they're... You know, and that you have some conservatives in the UFC. Yes. Yeah. So this guy, Adesanya, I think we have a clip of what he had to say, too. There was a little bit of language. I think we bleeped that out, but it's a real short Galen clip. Maxwell just got put away for 20 years. So she was supplying kids for all these f- pedos, right? <laughs> Where's the list? Yeah. Is it, is it, is Good that question. It's like, I don't know. weird that that got no coverage, but Johnny Depp and Amber was everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. And I'm like, so the list of... You know, politicians and actresses and actors or whatever that they talked about, does that get swept under the rug? Do they not get any time? Uh, it's buried in the backyard. Kids? You know what I mean? Like, I don't mm-hmm. know. Like, that's weird that how that just doesn't compute with me. Mm. So what huh. I found interesting about this is I had to dig and dig and dig for anyone who covered his statements on this. You can find the clips on YouTube, but what you sure. can't find are any media outlets that act, even sports websites that you would think would cover the fact that he brought this up. Hardly anyone wrote anything about it, which I thought was weird. I mean, mm. expected, but weird. Right. And then something else that struck me as odd, R. Kelly was also recently sentenced for essentially yeah. the exact same thing Absolutely. as Glenn Maxwell. Yeah. He got 30 years. She got 20 years. Interesting. His case got tons and tons of coverage. I mean, they they drug his name through the mud, which rightfully so. Yeah, and right. he's got another case coming up in Chicago too soon, right? Yes, uh, also, he does. yeah. So uh, you mm. know, it looks horrible for him on every count. Glenn Maxwell, on the other hand, it was she was just helping. It was treated she was just exactly. A helper. She was in some ways treated like a victim. Yeah, mm-hmm. of Jeffrey Epstein, it, it and only got was maybe. twenty years. So it kind is this of a racial like, thing, do you think, or a gender thing? Uh, wh- what do you make of it? I, I, can't, I couldn't decide because I do feel like we are lenient on women more often than men, especially mm-hmm. in cases that have to do with some sort of sexual nature. But also, I think because she was so well-connected to so many yeah. high-profile, important people. She's still going to jail. Right. They had to make an example of her, but they didn't want to give her, because I think that the prosecutors were asking for at least 40 years, and yeah, she only got were. 20. And now the family wants to be able to move her back to the UK, right? Mm-hmm. They want to get her back closer to home. Right. That might happen. But I, I thought it was interesting that R. Kelly's judge said in court, few crimes are more serious than what Mr. Kelly did. Yeah. That he had manipulated girls and women. The judge, a uh, Judge Nathan in the Maxwell trial said, Maxwell directly and repeatedly and over the course of many years participated in a horrific scheme to entice, transport, and traffic underage girls, some as young as 14, for sexual abuse by and with Jeffrey Epstein. The damage done to these girls was incalculable. But then she still got a lighter sentence than R. Mm. Kelly did. And Mm -hmm. I also think it's worth noting that the judge in the Maxwell trial, Judge Nathan, she was the one who sealed those black book contents with all the names and the addresses and things like that. Because she said Mm. they concern privacy interests and their disclosure would merely serve to cater to a craving for that which is sensational and impure. Oh, my gosh. That's unbelievable. (laughs) In today's world. Oh, my gosh. That's unbelievable. You're just absolutely protecting these people. Absolutely. You're protecting rich, powerful elites 
who need to be exposed. Yeah, they did release the his address book, right? So, I, I, not that I have downloaded that. I don't know, look, <laughs> look through it. it but, <laughs> well, Gawker, the website Gawker did release a lot of the contents of the book, and a lot of things were redacted. But what I think is so fascinating about this whole story is we would never even know a little black book existed except... Epstein's former house manager, a guy named Alfredo Rodriguez, right. he tried to sell it yeah. in twenty, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, in two thousand nine. I'm sorry, about so about fifty of the entries in there, his house manager had circled or like highlighted, and <laughs> they found out when he tried to sell it. You know, the feds arrested him. He did go to prison. Right. He died, I think, about a year ago. So nobody really knows why he circled certain names over others, but he said those people were kind of the key to unraveling the whole thing. Do we know what they said he died of? That's what I was just going to ask. Um, Suicide? Shot himself know. in the head three times? He yeah. never talked publicly about it either after <laughs> wow. his, his stint in prison. Yeah, because his so. tongue was cut out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it did, you know, it included a lot of famous names. Of course, you know, like Prince Andrew and Bill Clinton, and there were a yeah, the lot usual, of the usual for, for the Clintons in there. Like a lot of phone numbers, a lot of emails, a lot of addresses. Yeah. So very, uh, they they obviously knew them. Bill very traveled well. on vacations with Jeff from time to time. I don't know what the problem was. Yeah, there's no problem. I mean, okay. just because he went to the island with him a couple well, of times, they stopped off on the way to a fundraiser. Whatever. What are you going to do? Uh, there's nothing you can do. You're on <laughs> okay. the same plane. Thank you. Right. You go where the plane goes. <laughs> and what do you want him to do? Fly commercially no (laughs) he can't do that can't be expected to so do you think is there a mechanism by which anybody could ever obtain the black books or is it just a lock it's locked away forever well the jurors apparently got to see some of the contents of the black book but they just aren't releasing it to any of us and she said it really wasn't relevant because that was it had more to do with Epstein with Glenn Maxwell, which is, of course, not true. She had such a heavy hand in making all of this happen and orchestrating these girls coming to the, I mean, not just to his houses in New York and New Mexico, but overseas. Yeah. This was so far reaching, yeah. which is why I think it's so interesting that with she and R. Kelly essentially doing the same thing, his was at least domestic. She was, you know, trafficking all girls all over the world and still got 10 years less than he did. But I think until people make a big enough stink about it, the way that they did about R. Kelly, because the, the, yeah. where there's smoke, there's fire, and there were rumors about him for years. And, and then, well, there were, also, uh, there were also a number of uh, videos. Right, well, uh, yeah. From he did try to the, buy most of those back. Mm. <laughs> and it's it, did, been, it didn't work. <laughs> it took like 30 years, though, for right. R. Kelly to get justice. Uh, that's, yeah, it was a long time. Yeah. And, he's still, and they still, I mean, he's still selling music. Right, I mean, his music is yeah. through the roof. Yeah, they've made it. They've made where you have to search it out, and people do, and they do, and they do. You know, and for her to say she's protecting privacy of these people, no, they, they committed crimes. If they were involved with Ghislaine and Jeffrey Epstein, it, there's a really good chance there were crimes committed against these young girls. And if there weren't, then say so. Right. Well, that's the thing. I think for the people that really didn't have any sort of nefarious dealings with Epstein, they just happened to be listed in his book because they met him at a party or, you know, yeah, they knew him the, from a board that, that or whatever That was the address book, too. That was the same thing. They, you know, it was business dealings. Right. I think you're able to suss all that out eventually and realize this person was not involved at all. But I, I think for the people who were involved, like Prince Andrew, it's very obvious. And those people need to be mm-hmm. brought to justice. Yeah. And it's not up to the, I mean, well, it is up to the judge, but I mean, we can noodle that out ourselves. Mm-hmm. Okay. We don't need the judge. Yeah. On what? On the Prince Andrew thing? Uh, on any of it. I want to yeah. see the names. I know. I do too. <laughs> we all do. Yeah. I do too, but apparently we're not going to. Well, I hope, I hope athletes still keep talking. So those guys in the UFC, yeah. Yeah. anybody who wants to see these people brought to justice, speak out, say something, because the more high profile people that say something, the closer we get to finding and out. And Adesanya, oh, he, he won that fight, He did, right? by decision. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, so he's the big deal now? He's the big deal. Yeah. I think he's probably the hottest thing in the UFC at the moment. Absolutely. What happened to the Mermagema God or whatever his name was? Nurmagomedov? He yeah. retired, but <laughs> he, uh, I mean, you never He know. retired? Yeah, he said he wasn't going to do it anymore. Oh, wow. But a lot was he of, unbeaten? I mean, Conor McGregor's retired like 15 times, so you right. never know. that's true. Yeah, right. Nurmagomedov had never been beaten, so wow. I would love for him to come back and fight. Yeah, yeah the, great. the boy, the Undertaker is, uh, that's the new, he's the new deal, though. I mean, Vince was there, and uh, uh, Triple H was there. Right, and they were they, in the they front were, row. They were in the front row. McAfee huh. was there with them because he just signed a new deal with the WWE, too. Good for Pat McAfee. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they were all there for that big fight as for the Undertaker music came in. So it that was, was all all part of it. It was very cool. Yeah. He did he did it justice, I felt like. Was it yeah. bloody enough? 
for you? Did you? It's never bloody. Oh, really no, yeah, it's true. never bloody enough. <laughs> so there weren't pools of blood all over the. No, for it being right. the for it being the main it's card. Too bad. I mean, it, was it was a, a good fight, fight, but yeah, yeah. It, it was you know it wasn't uh, it wasn't as bloody and exciting as I was. Yeah, there was for. better fights in the undercard. Agreed. Mm. All right, yeah. <laughs> thanks, Hillary. You're uh, better luck on blood next time. <laughs> UFC, what seven thousand or whatever it is.